I'm just want to say right off the bat that this movie is good. Oh man, definitely the best in the DC Universe by far. Which I'm really relieved because I'll be honest, I was skeptical, worried, yet also hopeful about this film. Man of Steel to me wasn't good, but not overly awful, and while Batman v Superman just plain sucked, Wonder Woman was the most interesting and well done character in that movie. So that is why I had some hopes for her film. And now that I've seen it, damn, why did they not do this before? Now Wonder Woman has had appearances in both TV and movies, both live action and animated, but she never had her own uh, movie of this scale, like a big budget summer blockbuster. And maybe wonder why, because Wonder Woman, she, like, she's a really big superhero character, like to me, she's on the same scale as Batman and Superman, like everyone knows about her and she's been around for a really long time. My only guess is because DC is making their own movie universe much like Marvel did, and of course Wonder Woman being one of DC's major characters. Her own movie was an eventuality, though it's a shame that it come to that because I think her backstory is very interesting and should have gotten a big budget movie a long time ago. When it comes to the DC movie universe, they are well behind Marvel and they know this, so you can tell that the earlier projects were Ross just to catch up. But character and story was greatly sacrificed to do this, and it really showed. But not in Wonder Woman. Batman v Superman must have been a real big wake up call to DC because a lot more care was taken into the character and the story. It takes place during World War I, which is pretty refreshing considering how often the World War II plot has been done to death. Diana has a real reason to leave her island and accompany Steve. And it starts out as a really well done fish out of water story, with a perfect mix of naivete, curiosity, and common sense. With the issue of wartime politics, Diana asks questions that in reality should make sense. And we as the audience also begin to ask, yeah, why can't the leaders just do insert solution here? But of course the world that Diana has entered is far more complicated than that, and watching her navigate through this world, it does make us ask the questions, you know, why are things like that to begin with? The casting was perfect. Gal Gadot and Chris Pine worked off each other amazingly. Their characters really felt genuine and they have really great chemistry together. The neat thing about the story is Diana's interaction with the people of this time period. It's a time when women can't vote and have restrictions as to where they can go. But because Diana has no awareness of this culture, she continues to behave as herself with little to no restrictions. And to see everyone's reaction to this is both entertaining and fascinating. And this movie has a lot of fun with it, which is something the other movies in this universe was seriously lacking. Marvel's universe knew what to keep serious and knew what to add humor to. And Wonder Woman began to resemble those movies as it went on. It also asks questions about human nature and if humankind is a benefit or a hindrance to the world. And are the actions that we take really our own free will or are we just slaves to influence? Questions like these are not new, especially to superhero movies, but Wonder Woman explored these themes very well and I think it even makes people question what really makes us human and what can we do to make our future better. The action is amazing, both on the large scale and small. When Diana takes off her civilian clothing because of Wonder Woman, you know it's going to get real. And the fight scenes are just action packed as the other DC movies. One thing people might find cliche is the use of the slow motion in much of the one-on-one -on -one combat, and normally I would agree with you, but the choreography is so well done and the music so well paced that the use of the slow motion really adds to these scenes. So yes, I really love this movie. It has superb characters, great story, great pacing, great music, explores wonderful themes that everyone can talk about. Is humankind destructive? Yes, we are that, but we're also a lot more. And Wonder Woman is much more than I thought it would be. So yes, definitely check it out. You won't be disappointed. Chibi Neko, signing out.